six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video about the ROG Alley. This time it's about the SSD that we installed last time. So the SSD we installed was getting a bit hot, but I didn't think it was going to be a problem. But just in case, I want to show you guys this mod I made, which is very small, tiny fan, as you guys can see here. The fan is, well, it is coupled with this one, so it's working together with it. So I want to show you guys that I bought also another fan, which is this one here. This is also a tiny fan and you can see how it fits on onto the SSD like here. It's even smaller. This one is a little bit thinner. So I didn't know if this was going to fit on there. Right. So I bought another spare one, which is a tiny, even smaller one. I prefer this one because it's black. You can't see it. And the cable routing is here. It goes underneath if you want to do this setup it's this fan here has also thermal pads underneath here uh, so when you take this off the thermal pads you have to align it back so the cable you know you just have to fiddle a little around with it but on the left side here you don't have these you don't have a thermal pad it's well i would prefer to do it right from here and the cable will be shorter the longer side it's because the cables are so thin i had really lots of uh, trouble doing it so when you have to solder these tiny cables together, it's really hard. So I took the longer route so that the cable on the fan side is a little longer so that when I'm soldering it uh, with the iron, it would be easier. That's the only reason I took this route instead of this route, because this would, would have been a shorter cable. This also looks great. You can't even see the cable being there. So as you guys can see, all the fans are working in harmony. This fan doesn't make any extra noise. So anyways, guys, let's go to the temps. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So now I have set up the Crystal Disk Mark and the Crystal Disk Info so that we can benchmark our SSD and check the values at the same time. SSD is at the moment 49 degrees. We're just going to test it on normal fan curve. I have put the system on turbo mode. So let's go and check the speeds here. 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. 60, 59, 64, 65, 66, 67, 64. So yeah, it, it goes up to 68 at the moment because it's testing all the values now. And I keep on refreshing. Now it's about 55, 54. That's it. Now it's the benchmark has done these two on the top and you can see that the performance is pretty. I think it's even a little higher than uh, before because some people are using heat sinks, but I think heat sinks are, are fine. But on long term, the heat sinks might not cool enough. So this is you can go either way, to be honest, if you want to go heat sink, it's easier. It's just plug and play. You just uh, paste it there and it works. On this system you have to wire the cables together so if you are good with soldering you don't have to be a hero in soldering but just have a nice soldering iron and you can make this happen for yourself as well this is just a little bit niche setup so i understand it, most of you guys won't want to do it or uh, just want to go for the heatsink mod and also fine but it won't be cooling i think it won't be cooling as good as this one because this is active uh, cooling and the active cooling is better as uh, when this is a scenario where we're not playing games so we, if when we are not playing games when you're just uh, testing the ssd at the moment so ssd is being benchmarked but the cpu and the and the gpu is not being benchmarked so the cpu fan is not going to work faster so the ssd won't get more cooling either if you're in a gaming scenario your ssd will cool even better than this on this 
system now what that we have checked it's gone up to 67 i think it will reach up to uh, 68 something 69 maybe as you can see it is kind of acceptable to game on on a ssd like this like this fast ssd on a rog alley system anyways guys i hope you like this mod uh hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye